Hello, dear ones. It's so good to be with you. I know uh, many of you who tune into these ministers' messages know how important our daily walks are to Rob and me, how much I uh, draw from the natural world in terms of my own spiritual practice, that I am sustained by the natural world. One of the things that I think about in terms of this month's theme of hospitality is what are we open to? What do we seek to be open to? And one of the things I like to think about is how we are open to new important lessons. And one of the aspects of becoming more acute and more effective anti-racists is to learn all the stories or as many of the stories that remain hidden or erased. And so part of what I'm really trying to do is to learn and welcome in new information that I didn't ever think about, that I didn't have exposure to. And I know that historically, Unity Church was very involved in, in calling out redlining. Redlining and real estate covenants were a, um, a decision um, by businesses and realty companies and real estate agents to make sure that communities of color could not buy in certain neighborhoods but were encouraged to buy and live in other neighborhoods. And what we know is in the communities that were redlined versus communities that were not is that there is a temperature differential. That there, the temperatures are hotter in these redlined, former redlined communities than they are in communities that were traditionally white and more affluent. And the difference is more concrete, more trees. And there are three American cities where the Temperature differential between those historically redlined communities and the white communities um, are in the double digits. And they are Portland, Oregon, Denver, Colorado, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. The temperature differential between North Minneapolis, which has a lot more concrete and fewer trees, than in a typical lush, tree-lined, white neighborhood is 12 degrees. And trees help keep things cool. The leaves reflect the sun back. They provide shade, which we know shade makes things cooler. They also do something called evapotranspiration, which is where they take in moisture and also release they take in heat and release moisture, which is another way that trees cool things down. So one of the things that we can do when we go into communities of, of traditional redlined communities is look and see where are the trees. And this is where climate change, environmental justice, and racial justice becomes environmental justice, which is racism is seeps into racist practices that become invisible but are about our daily lives. So let us never take these beautiful trees that surround the communities of St. Paul ever for granted and know how important it is to be planting trees in every community. So enjoy the trees, enjoy the leaves while they are still with us because, my dears, the seasons are changing. So good to be with you and thank you.